Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. We have the Hermit in reverse, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, we have Virgo energy here. The Page of Pentacles. I'm getting a couple of messages. For some of you, this person isn't listening to their intuition and they're wanting to make you some sort of offer or communicate something um, and they're rushing ahead. They're doing it anyway. Normally, it's, it's inter interesting. Normally in these readings, we get an energy of someone overthinking, you know, planning something, replanning it, planning it again. Today, I'm seeing it's almost like this person is saying well let me rush ahead with this idea i don't i'm not interested in planning through every single detail so let's see where this goes ten of coins in the reverse we have the nine of swords in the reverse there's an air of panic um i don't for some of you maybe you have been in a relationship or marriage with this person and there's a separation and they're, they're worrying that if this separation goes on too long there won't be a reconciliation for others of you it's the potential for a future and this person is saying if if i don't take action now if i don't get out of my own way out of my own head i'm gonna going to lose all of this um and so this is why they're rushing forward okay let's keep going yeah so you look at this ace of pentacles what's this seven of swords in the reverse do you know what i'm getting it's not even so much that this person is rushing forward i think they've been thinking for a long long time and it's just to them it seems quick it seems rushed because it's they've decided decided suddenly it needs to happen but um i think they spent a lot of time thinking actually If they've been very quiet and you've been wondering what have they been doing, have they been doing something shifty that I wouldn't be happy with? I don't think so. I think they've been reflective. I think they've been in hermit mode, um, having some realizations about themselves, about you, about this connection, realizing that not only does this have incredible potential with the Ace of Pentacles, but it could really go the distance, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles showing up as well. Okay, what else, please? Yeah, look at this, Page of Cups. And that was a bit sort of um, reluctant to come out. It was a bit difficult to get it out onto the table. So I feel um, this might be someone who is going to find it a bit difficult to reach out first or to reply to some sort of message maybe that they they need you know they've left hanging for a while from you um they might be finding it difficult to be more vulnerable more open with their feelings as well but i'm hearing necessity they're seeing it as a necessity for you to move forward um and I think it is, you know, you can't build all the way up to the Ten of Pentacles with only one person. Presumably you guys, you know, speaking, communicating. Yeah, and we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this person's nervous in part because they're saying they don't feel like the best version of themselves. They've still got work to do on themselves. Do they have enough to offer you? You know, are you going to be impressed with them? Some of this, I think, is coming from maybe some self-esteem issues or some doubts. Um, I think this person could become, you know, king of wherever and still wonder, do they have enough? Are you going to be impressed with them? You know, do they have enough prestige for you? Um, let's go to this page of pentacles because this is the energy of your person moving here. Tell me about this page of pentacles, please. Yeah, look, Six of Cups. So this is a card of reconciliation, but it's also a card of like a soulmate energy, feeling like you are the one, feeling like they can build a home, a family with you. And like I said, if you already have that, or you have that in the past, your person wants that back with you. They've been thinking a lot, thinking about the conversations you've had, the memories that you've built together. And if you have, you know, if you haven't had many conversations or many memories, then they have been imagining what it could be like with you. Tell me about this page of cups, please. Is there anything else? I'm getting the number six. Okay, so we have the Empress in reverse, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. Yeah, so you are the one for them. You are coming out as the Empress, male or female, the energy here. You know, it, the Empress is in reverse. So they're saying 
there's a lot of missed potential so far because you've been offering, they've been um, delaying, they maybe took your offer for granted, they thought they would have all the time in the world. Um, but perhaps you're focusing on yourself now or your attention has been diverted or you, you know, you, you're having to focus more on work or something like that. So now they're worrying um, and now they're wanting to make you an offer here and kind of wondering, will you take the offer? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. So this person feels that you are a wish come true. You're everything they want and wanted. And yes, they are worried that um, as you get to know them even more, more you know, more deeply as you see behind the mask, um, that you won't feel the same and they will be crushed. So they're holding back a lot of feelings here, more than I think they've ever shown you. And again, going back to the storyline, if this is someone you, you've already been with, married, maybe you have children with this person, um, if they have done something or did something to betray you with the Seven of Swords, they're worried that if they come in for a second chance, you will say no and they kind of won't know what to do with themselves. Um, they, they will be devastated. Okay, so let's have a look then. What is it that your person wants you to know? What do they want my person to know? My person, my viewer to know. Okay, we have the Two of Swords, we have the world in reverse. So they definitely have been stuck in their own head. They kind of want you to know as well that they've not been seeking guidance or advice from outside of themselves. So if there have been some interfering people or energies, um, they're starting to release release those people and those people's opinions. So um, they're taking action based on themselves, their own inner guidance, nobody else. Oh, look, see, we have the Empress. Absolutely. Yeah, this person wants wants you back, wants what you had back. Even if it was a connection that never grounded, they want that back. They want your interest back. They want you offering a cup to them so they can offer a cup to you in exchange as well. They want to grow something with you. It could be, you know, in this card, we have pregnancy, but it could be could be children it could be anything it could be a business it could be a side project it could be a hobby that you've both talked about and you know you could begin this together um anything really but they want to do something with you as a team to expand with you to bring something into fruition we have the seven of pentacles in reverse so they're acknowledging you know it's, it's taken a very very long time they've probably taken a little bit too long they had several chances and they missed them because they were very much in their heads but they're saying the wait is over we have the hierophant in reverse so taurus energy if you if you are waiting for this person to get out of a commitment they're saying i'm starting to really take that seriously now because we have the hierophant reverse we have the ten of coins in reverse with the page of coins also coming up they could have stayed so long because of um someone who's dependent on them maybe it's the spouse that needs them for money and they kind of don't want to just ditch this person that you know and leave them in the dirt or it could be children that they're worried about we have yeah the king of pentacles so your person wants you to know that they've been dragging their feet a little or um they've been anxious and worried and not knowing which moves to make because they feel that they they are responsible for other people um or someone i feel you know there's an energy here that this person's quite tired as well maybe they're very busy we have the ace of wands so they're feeling very passionate about you they might be hoping that, uh, you know, if they return in a passionate way, it can get things going again, that they won't lose you. Okay, what else, please? What else does, does this person want my viewer to know? We have judgment in the reverse. Now, in this deck, it's called discretion. Um, this person made some bad and unwise choices in the past, as far as they're concerned, looking back. It, you know, it's underneath the Empress. So they're saying, my goodness, I cannot believe I prioritise my fears or someone else or my responsibilities over you, over the potential that, you know, this connection clearly is showing. And they are worried, as I said, that you might not want to give this another go. We have the Page of Swords, so we know that that's potentially somebody watching you. We have three pages. Pages are about communication, so that's a pretty good sign if you're waiting for some sort of message or reply, or you know, you're waiting to see or hear from your person. 
this person definitely, you know, the, the, if we take a step back, the higher reason, the higher um, or more spiritual reason for this taking a while is that your person had to go on a journey of learning. Pages can also, as well as messengers, be students, um, especially the Page of Swords. You know, this is someone who's curious, interested, but they've got a lot to learn. So your person had to... Um, Maybe they've come to the same conclusion that you had for a while. They're there now, but they had to get there on their own. They had to go on some sort of journey by themselves. Um, it could also be something very practical if they need to divorce or separate. Maybe they've been researching, you know, something to do with finances or lawyers or looking for a new home or, you know, something like that. But there seems to be um, a real reason why things have played out as they have we have the tower in reverse scorpio energy here i really feel there is something oh my goodness it needs to end something external to your connection something your person has been um involved with it could be a person you know romantic it could be family friends it could be work it could be um a community tradition <laughs> the tower in reverse is only a matter of time before this ends um and if your person or someone else involved doesn't end it, the universe will, spirit will, with the tower being here. Let's get one more card for that. Okay, we have several. We have, yeah, the Eight of Swords, the King of Swords, and we have the Lovers. Gemini Energy, the number six that I was getting early, you know, the number of divine love that they fill with you. But this person has a huge life-changing decision to make and it's going to involve them seeming to be cold to other people you know it might seem like a bit of um a harsh choice a harsh decision but truly it's not your person they need to to make this for themselves because with the eight of swords they feel restricted they feel stuck they feel that they're being limited so the people around them might say how could you leave how could you do this blah 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 um you know you're only thinking of yourself but <sighs> It's not that simple. I, I feel your person is miserable with whatever they're investing in or whoever they're investing in right now. And yes, you know, they do want to invest in you and to be with you, but it's it's not that they're just switching out, you know, the old for the new or this other situation for you. They need to really do it for themselves, for their own health as well. So although it might look selfish to these people who don't want them to make a change, it's it's really actually very necessary. And I feel it and, and see it would be a move of self-care. Okay, so let's have a look then at action you can expect them to take. Um, first of all, though, I feel you're probably going to want to know what this deck is because it's awesome. This was a gift um, from Paula. Let me just get the deck so I can show you. Okay, so it's this. It's the Shadowland Tarot. And this deck, this was a gift from Jacqueline. And this is... Um, the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck. Okay, so let's have a look at action. I feel, you know, I feel there's movement. I mean, I see they're watching you, but that's no surprise at this stage, is it? Um, so possible communication as well with all the pages coming up and whatever their other situation is, that does look like it's uh, coming to a, an end pretty soon. Okay, so action please. Action from this person towards my viewer. Yeah, two of wands in the reverse. So this is them saying, I do have a big decision to make and oh my goodness, I have been thinking about it for a long time and I've been excited by it, but I've been nervous about it. So if you have had a bit, you know, mixed signals from your person, you feel like it's moving forward and then they freeze or they pull back. I think it's the fear that's been getting them. But when that card's in reverse, they're saying, okay, I'm going for it. I'm ready to take this leap of faith. We have the 10 of cups in reverse and we have the ace of wands. I keep getting this message that there's a big fear that what if you both move forward and um, you, you realize that there isn't deep, you know, love here, that it's not a deep soul connection, that it was all about the excitement here. Now, this is probably an irrational fear, especially if you know your person has had, let's say, hasty relationships in the past that have been built around, um, you know, uh, hmm, how can I phrase it? 
that initial spark, the initial passion, and then somehow they've got themselves, um, what's the word? Committed, invested, um, and then both parties have realized actually there's nothing deeper here. You know, we, we didn't build the, we didn't build trust, we didn't build love, or we're just not really compatible. If they've had those sorts of experiences in the past, they could be worrying what if it's the same thing here and i don't think they can't just recover and move on with you because you're their empress so that tells me that um this is very different for them but also that their fears are most likely irrational here but still present nonetheless okay so action please Ooh, the devil Okay, Capricorn energy, they are thinking quite a bit, almost maybe even, you know, a bit obsessively, maybe with that page of swords as well, watching you, checking in on you throughout the day, all day, if you're on social media, um, you know, asking friends and family about you, if they know where you live, trying to see when you're in, when you're out, if you have visitors, that sort of thing. Okay, action please. Seven of Swords in reverse. Wow. I mean, this is really good. Whatever action they take from this point forward is going to be much more authentic and open. Yeah, look, we have the Two of Cups. Knight of Cups. And we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Sun in reverse, Leo energy. They really are struggling, struggling to get you this offer or message, whatever it is they're holding on to that they want to give to you. It's almost like it's driving them a bit crazy. Um... I feel they will in the end because we already saw the page of pentacles in the upright but they have all of these things in their head they want to say romantic things um offers they want to make things they want to suggest you know let's go here let's do this um sorry and they're thinking about it over and over and over they may end up coming forward in a more passionate way and i do think it's it's an energy you've seen before but i think it you know that's there's so much more behind that deep emotion and hopes hopes for your future here for the both of you but i think it's just that's an easier way from to come forward because they've done this before you know um come forward in a passionate way so it feels more comfortable for them tell me about this knight of cups please nine of pentacles absolutely they are watching you admiring you imagining um all kinds of you know things with you now the three of cups in the reverse they see you right now and the moon in reverse as being very strong very empowered there might be something about you in general that's quite um individual you do your own thing and you're very good at it you don't look or need others you know you don't look to others for approval or support um the moon in reverse pisces energy i think they're wondering you know well yeah how do you feel what's going on with you how will you act um how will you be how will you feel if they come back we have strength leo again there's something here about you how they see you very calm collected confident you have an in it and if i can speak and inner strength uh, you know the nine of wands in reverse this is fighting but this is fighting because you're stressed out you're backed into a corner you feel kind of vulnerable um you're not that kind that's not the kind of fighting energy around you we have strength this is the energy of of um it's almost like knowing you don't need to fight that you're you're going to win anyway and by win i mean you're in your power you're doing what makes you happy and if you're not yet you're building up to that um you've won because you're happy within yourself you know you have that that confidence so you don't need to scrap and you know fight with anyone um there's something about this that they really really admire and love but at the same time it makes them a bit nervous they might be more used to dealing with people who um are petty who do you know fight dirty that sort of thing whereas you being here standing firm standing in your power it's unnerving um because the only thing they can do is come towards you correctly honestly you know that's the only way you're going to engage with them um and it's definitely challenging um 
not because your person, you know, is a liar or anything like that and they're not authentic, but they've got to be vulnerable, I think, with you in a way that they don't tend to be with other people. So that's that's kind of a bit, I suppose, of background around this struggle, um, you know, that we're seeing them thinking a lot, going back and forth. Okay, actually, before we move on, let's get a couple of these Archangel messages. Yeah, we have life review. I'm not surprised. This is exactly what your person has been doing. It says, um, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Well, the effort, the reciprocity, that's been unbalanced. Listening to other people over themselves, that's been unbalanced. Um, so that's what they've been doing in hermit mode. We have patience. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Okay, so seven of coins, you know, this has taken a while, but Spirit saying actually things are happening more quickly than it seems so um you know watch and see or wait and see to to sort of see what unravels we have clear your space get rid of clutter clear the energy around you and use feng shui okay so this could be them quite literally clearing stuff out or clearing out emotional and mental baggage you know clearing out those doubts those fears Okay, and let's get a couple of these before we move on to your advice. Okay, so we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. Yes, hold on. So that's exactly what was coming through very strongly about what they're seeing within you and admiring. You know, you're in this nine of pentacles energy as far as they are concerned. You know, maybe you know you've got some things you want to change, um, but this is how they're seeing you. And it's so... Um, it's inspiring and intimidating for them. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And that's exactly what you're doing in this position of strength. You're not fighting, you know, to change things or fighting for this person's time, attention, or, you know, you're just kind of saying, well, fine, I'm here, I'm doing my thing. You know how I feel. If you want me, I'm here. If not, I'm not going to keep myself stagnant. You know, I'm, I'm, doing stuff I'm progressing I'm growing things okay also if you do come forward well this needs to be done properly you know no more um nonsense masks all of that you know we need to to be mature here okay reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best okay so yeah i do feel there's some distance here some separation um but i don't think it's permanent i think you know it says give each other some space at the moment i think it's because it's been really important for growth probably on both sides okay so advice spirit what are your messages of guidance and advice please for my viewers what are their best moves at this time Oh, the Empress, third time. Spirit saying, yes, be in your Empress power. Keep growing, keep investing in things around you, in yourself. Um, you know, somewhere, somewhere along the lines, you've put in a lot of work and now it's time for you to receive. So really try to be open um, to this abundance. And that's outside of this connection and within as well. Three of Wands, manifest. Absolutely, now is the time to say to the universe, I've done what you asked, I did, I reflected, I've grown, I've done my healing, I've incorporated those changes, I've learned some lessons, so for my reward, I would like, you know, put, put in your order and be really specific so you can see it come to you. Because yeah, you have new beginnings here with the full Aries energy. So how would you like this new beginning to look? What, what would you like to be the same or different? Oh, very exciting. Okay, good. We'll take these two. Death, absolutely. More Scorpio, but we have an ending. We have a beginning. And we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, which is effectively now the Two of Cups. So this is wonderful. This is basically saying, sit back on your throne and send out your order and watch it come back to you. So yeah, this is a time for you to receive because you have been already, you know, in the sort of in the heavier energy doing the work. We've got this Five of Cups card. So 
maybe at some point, you know, you were looking at maybe how things didn't work out and um, regret and that sort of thing. But you're out of that energy now. And what you have coming towards you is... Um, is a chance for a new start, however that looks, whatever that means to you. Um, you know, it could be a new start within something existing. It could be a whole new beginning. Um, for some of you, there could be travel involved as well. So if your person is at a, a significant distance, maybe you might want to um, manifest an opportunity to travel and meet face to face. You're very abundant right now, and I feel that you have more, even more abundance coming towards you. And it's, um, if you doubt that, or you're feeling, it makes you feel a bit anxious, or if, you know, on a subconscious level, you might feel undeserving, remind yourself that this isn't coming out of nowhere. It's coming because, you know, you've earned this. And it's not to say we have to earn every good thing that happens, but I do, I do feel you have. I think you've been on um, a tough journey, and this is more than deserved. Okay, so I will, oh, hold on, I've got the one question, one card, but if you're heading off, I will leave it here, so um, thank you for watching, um, if you want something more, I'll see you in the extended, otherwise, hopefully see you soon back here, if you are sticking around, I will get the one question, one card ready, and get another deck. Okay, so today's winner is Veronica Mafaik, I hope I've pronounced that okay. So your question is, do I still wait on my person for communication? Okay. So Spirit, can you show us please, is it worth Veronica's time to wait for her person for communication? So what's your message here? Okay, so do I still wait on my person for communication? So what message do you have for Veronica, please? Okay, we have the Four of Wands just flipping out there in the reverse. And we have the fall. Okay, so this could talk about a new beginning within your connection. So really breaking down the foundation, you know, all the way down to the foundation of, of what this was before and starting again. Or it could be spirit saying it's best to kind of think about moving on, moving forward here. <clears throat> I would ordinarily have said that. It's time to move in a new direction. Um, it doesn't look like your connection is going to become stable. But the thing is, the fall is coming out after the four of wands in reverse. And in this card, the person is moving towards the four of wands. So there's something here that's giving me pause for thought. It's almost like... This isn't over, but it can't go back to how it has been. There's a new beginning coming in and it's, you know, it's, it's got to be stronger this time. Um, let's see. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's missed potential here in the past. Should Veronica wait for communication, please? Page of Swords. You see, this is communication. Hmm. Let's get one more and the sun, healing, rebirth, clarity, the devil in reverse. Yeah, this is exactly it. I feel that um, there is, there's new energy coming back around and I think it's going to be a better situation than it has been before. Um, Spirit's telling me not overnight. So this might not come in, you know, super quickly. And in the meantime, of course, you know, keep um, progressing, growing, living your life, um, doing other, th other things to make you happy. I feel there is going to be communication here, but it's going to be so, so important to for both of you to be able to do it differently this, this time. So whatever that means to you, whatever was low vibrational before, you know, wh when you see this devil card, whatever it makes you think of, it's, it's important to try and leave that behind for both of you. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups. I feel this isn't finished and it's like both of you know there's unfulfilled potential and that this is something special. You know, I could go to the shop and I could say, oh, should I get um, a bar of chocolate or not? And I don't and I come home, but I'm not going to agonise over it for the next month, you know? Yes, it was a missed opportunity, but it's a bar of chocolate, I'll survive. 
But if it was something really, really important, yes, I, I would keep thinking about it. And that's what I'm getting here. And I may even have to go back, you know, back to the shop and, you know, buy the thing that I can't stop thinking about because it's that important. And that's that's kind of what I feel here, that your person, um, it's like they cannot stop thinking about you and about what this could have been. And and that's going to pull them back to you in spirit saying, when that happens, there's got to be a complete reset here. Okay. Yeah, so um, I think there will be communication. I don't see it happening, I have to be honest, you know, in the next sort of day or so. Um, and in the meantime, spirit's saying, keep keep living, you know, don't don't keep yourself stuck, just checking your phone all day, every day, that sort of thing. Um, keep expanding, keep growing. So yeah, okay, I hope that helps. Okay, so thank you so much everyone for watching. Take care and speak soon. Bye.